All right, got it. There we go. Got it. So Lance, you have half of our group with you today. <laughs> yeah. One great. spot. That's pretty cool. And where yeah. is Andrew this morning? So Andrew's on vacation um, today. I, I expect him back next Sunday. Good. I have a lot of work to do to get caught up. He's been kind of slacking. And Good Dio, to see you, Dio. Uh, Dio Hi, Dio. Dio. Hi, Joe. You know, and and little Dio uh, did a open the service for the other church today. And uh, wow. so they did that and then they packed everything up and brought it up here. <laughs> so. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I agree. Here's mommy. Hey, Natalie. Good morning. Good morning. Happy morning from Rhode Island. And I'm here too. Here's Dee Dee. Yay! <laughs> hi, Dee Dee. Oh, look at that. I was both saying hi, Nat. I recognize your background now. That's the place you stayed before, right? Right. Are you coming down? They changed it. They already changed it. Karen's coming down in August, I think. Or no, July. July. I'm sorry I'm going to miss you, Dee Dee. We'll have to try at a different time. <laughs> Karen, I got my nails done for Pride Month. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I have a surprise for you. Ooh. For, it's actually going to be next week. Wait, right? No, I'm a week behind. In two weeks, huh? one, 4th of July, I'm uh, going to be having some Pride flags painted on my horses for the 4th of July thinks, parade. Ooh. Joseph thinks we need to have a party at our house in Granby. I like that idea. West, Westport, my, the other place. <laughs> you got to wait for that one. <laughs> uh, uh, Mom, good to see you again. Lots of dancing last night. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Natalie, when do you, or um, Dee Dee, when do you go back on Wednesday? Yes, I fly out Wednesday. So, okay. but next time. Next I'll time. Out again and then, but yeah, come down and see my mom. She'll be here yep. all the, as you know, all of July. And July 7th, I'm free woman. So. <laughs> Hi, Dee Dee. And uh, Maddie, uh, Dee Dee is uh, coming back in September. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. We're going to a wedding in Cape Cod. Nice. Okay. I could probably catch you on that trip then. Hey, yeah. hey Dan, do you have an opening song? So, Dan. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you yeah. on a computer? About All right. I just need to make sure we can get your sound right because if, if you go up to the top where it says Zoom US, hey, how do they, I don't how have do they that on the time on. Can you hear me? Yeah. How well can you hear me right now? Oh, that actually works. Okay. Yeah, so you can hear me. <laughs> yeah. I think when you're closer, yeah, when you when your voice and your guitar are closer, that works well. I'm about 18 inches from it. <laughs> Okay. So Daniel, why don't you, uh, Karen, if it's okay with you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute everybody and we'll have yep. Daniel lead us off and then we'll start. So I'm going to, I, as we always like to say, we're only muting so that we can hear uh, better. And uh, so what we do, we want to be able to hear from you. So you just raise your hand if you have something you want us to say. Ready? Yes, we're ready. Jesus, please take me 
everybody this morning. We have folks from all over and we're so excited to have you as well as all of our Facebook, Facebook friends. I should say Facebook. Facebook and Facebook friends. Um, but we welcome you this morning to our Faithway service and our candles this morning are going to be lit in, in honor or in solidarity with peace, with all of the things that are happening in Russia and all of the unrest there, I would like to pray and lift up the folks in Russia who are seeking peace in a better life. If you can hold a moment of silence for me, and then I'll open with our opening prayer. All right. This is an early 13th century hymn called the Canticle of the Sun. It's based on Psalm 104. Um, and the, the canticle is by the by St. Francis of Assisi, who was a wonderful Benedictine monk who actually founded the Benedictines um, in Assisi, Italy. Most high all-powerful, good Lord. Yours are the praises, the glory, the honor, and all blessing. To you alone, most high, do they belong, and no man is worthy to mention your name. Be praised, my Lord, through all your creatures, especially through my Lord brother's son, who brings the day, and you give light through him. And he is beautiful and radiant in all his splendor. Of you, most high, he bears the likeness. Amen. 
So let us practice the Christian belief that God's love comes to us as seekers and cynics, sinners and saints. We feel the warmth of that love as together we turn our faces to the midsummer sun and thanksgiving. Let us practice together sharing our love and respect for Jesus who sought out as we do here at Faithways, all of God's children, regardless of sexual orientation, churched or unchurched, rich or poor, old or young, healthy or sick, lost or found. So let's practice the love Jesus sought to show us together to create a safe space where the reign of God is now in this moment. And I'm gonna ask if Dio is ready for our doxology this morning. So yeah, thanks Karen. We're actually gonna do it together. We're gonna stand up here, yeah. Dio is going to lead us off. Come on away. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Blessings to everyone. Amen. Thank you, guys. That was great. Um, I'd like to start off our uh, sharing check-in time with Natalie, who's got a reading for us. Do you have a reading, Natalie? I heard you might, but I wasn't sure. Uh, it's very short. It's called, can you hear me? Yep. Called Climbing the Golden Mountain. Listen, turn everything off. When the noise of our lives drifts away, when the chatter of our minds sinks into that perfect lake of nothing, then, oh, then we can apprehend that golden mountain always there, waiting for us to be still enough to hear it. Amen. That was beautiful. That's by Michael, something more. So thank that was you. really beautiful. And it, it absolutely speaks to a lot of what I try and remember to practice is just some silence. You know, we don't get enough of it these days. So it makes a big difference in what you are actually able to hear when you can listen and create that space. So I'd like to turn this over to you all now. And if anyone would like to check in this morning, if you can raise your hand and unmute, that would be great as I call you. And again, we just do it one at a time so everybody can hear. Daniel, you had your hand up. You can unmute, or we can. I can have somebody else muted. go while you're. Oh, there I you go. Muted. Yep, now you are. Oh, okay. I left for DC Thursday. Spent all day Friday and yesterday there. I met with the. I met and spoke with the camps of Pelosi, Katie Porter, Jamie Raskin, and a few others. I won't go through them all. I had the honor. Yesterday, that woman's abortion march in DC, I was waiting for my train outside and I met uh, the coordinator for the Civil Liberties Union, who is gonna start back in my programs. Uh, I also on Facebook was connect, was contacted by Snoop Dogg and he's gonna get hold of me on Messenger tonight. So this project, is really getting ready to go. I'm planning a 25 to 30 city tour now, staying uh, the middle of next month, right through Veterans Day. 
So things are going wow. well. And it dawned on me this morning, if with your people's permission, uh, my small giraffe sponsor is my 11th sponsor. I'd like to put Faithways next to them as number 12 as we promote around the country and the world. Daniel, we thank you so much for all of your social justice efforts. And I'll be in Massachusetts again. I'm going to have to go back up there way before October. Probably when I start my tour, I'll be with Jim Rayburn first, then with Stacey Abrams and Warren, then C, and I'll probably go right to Boston and on my way to York Swing Group. So I'll see you soon. Great. <laughs> It'll be great to have you back in the uh, in the Northeast. So blessings it's, on your journey. Feels and your like travels. home to me. <laughs> when I home is home. All right. <laughs> Thank. Randy. Yeah, I'd like to pray for the staff and the residents here. In uh, yeah, like I said earlier, keep my no room in prayers he's in the hospital and um i also like to pray for the uh people that are ill and stuff will do thanks randy christina Morning, everybody. This is probably the only time I share during the service. So I'm going to cram it all into one thing. I want prayers for my sister Terry. She's having a bad bout with her sciatica. Nerve in her back. She can't get out of bed. It's been that way for five days now. Uh, I want prayers for my brother that, that the Lord opens up his heart to him. If you, if you all understand any of that, my, my, my brother doesn't believe in God. So I'm praying all the time that God opens his heart. I want prayers for myself. My, my, my next surgery is Thursday of this next week. And my sister's supposed to drive me, but she might not be able to drive me. So her husband, Mac, has already said and stepped up and said, yeah, I'll drive you, teeny. That's what he calls me. He calls me Jeannie. <laughs> um, That's great. And um, yesterday I had a little slip with the tobacco and some of you weren't here when I was talking about it earlier. I smoked one cigarette yesterday and I'm back on it today. Back to square one. I had two weeks Friday, but yesterday was a stressful day. So I felt like I had to and it did relieve the stress somewhat. But it reminded me how nasty they are. <laughs> so I'm back to it. Um, All right. We're delighted to hear you're back to it. I love each and every one of you. And I love coming here on Sunday. God bless you all. And blessings to you, Christina. Thank you so much. And we'll all be sending prayers upwards for you on Thursday for your surgery. Lance. And then John. So this past week, uh, I learned uh, that our my boss here at the church uh, resigned, and he was in an interim role, and um, so that, that has put a lot of uh, thought and it, it's uh, it wasn't something I was <laughs> I was ready for. Um, so uh, prayers. Uh, hopefully, I could use your prayers on that and try to figure out what how this church is gonna, gonna move forward. Um, and many churches, many churches right now are suffering and I'm, I'm finding there's a lot of people going in many different directions with churches, but it's really too bad. But uh, you know, Faithways is doing great and you people are my rock. And um, I've also been blessed to have family around, my sister and my mom. And we've had a lot of fun, including dancing way too late last night. And uh, so, if I look a little tired, forgive me. But uh, and then I also want to say that getting together in person with uh, our band, uh, with our with my minister mates, 
uh, is great. And Jillian's here helping us as well. And I want to just give thanks for that and also give thanks to all of you. Thank you, Karen. Great, thanks. Uh, John and then Shana. Good morning, everybody. Great to see you. Um, Daniel, I just can't get over your, your, your calendar, man. It's incredible. Um, uh, this past week, actually on Friday, um, I, I had learned of a volunteer opportunity way out in the, uh, just in the rural area of, uh, Lewis County, which is so far away. And, um, but it turns out that there is this significant collection of, uh, veterans who are experiencing homelessness and they've gathered in this rural area and, and, uh, the understanding is there's, there's roughly a hundred veterans out there just trying to make their own way. And, and so they, uh, so this thing was called a veteran stand down and, uh, uh, and we brought, uh, there was people from the veterans, uh, association there. Uh, there were all sorts of different service providers there and lo and behold, uh, and we did it at a, at a park right in the little town of little town called Morton and, um, uh, and 60, uh, 60 homeless veterans arrived, uh, and spent the day with the barbecue and getting their hair cut and getting new clothes and getting new boots and getting signed up for benefits. And it just, it, it filled my heart so much to see, what we can do when we work together and, and help those who just need a little help up, a little hand up. And um, it was such a thrill for me. So I would like to just pray for uh, not just our veterans who are experiencing homelessness, but uh, for all folks that are struggling with, with life issues like that. It, it, it's so far beyond our comprehension. Um, but there was so much God in there as well. And from these people who had absolutely nothing, less than nothing, the comment that I heard out of their mouths was, I'm okay. I got God. God is good. And it just, uh, it's just such a beautiful thing. And I hope that we can all keep them in our hearts uh, and prayers uh, this week. Thank you. Thanks, John. Shana? Um, I'd like prayers. I'm going in for an eye surgery tomorrow, and I'd like prayers for my surgery to go well. Absolutely. <clears throat> Good luck with that. Jan? Hey, everybody. It's really great to be here. Um, I would like to ask prayers for my beloved BFF, Alex. I've known her for 40 years. I was in their wedding 30 years ago. Jim is actively dying. And it is such a humbling experience to be part of that. And he's in the nursing home and prayers for just a peaceful, graceful transition. And that when it's his time to let go, he really, really, really lets go and feels that he's acknowledged. And um, I come back with such gratitude and appreciation for life that we have a life and uh, yeah, that. Amen. All right. We will keep him in our prayers. Anybody else with a check-in or? No? All right. Well, I have one quick check-in. Um, I saw God this week by um, in my practice, one of my patients, um, and I'm going to be leaving them in a couple of weeks, one of my patients gave us a very generous donation um, to our Faithways Fund. And it was, it was just so overwhelming and so sweet to have that happen. Um, and she said to me, I know that you all will put it to good use to get it where it needs to go. And and that just meant the world to me. So that was where I saw God this week. It was pretty special. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. 
<laughs> I am looking towards our Faithways band for a song. Yeah, so what we're going to do, uh, hang on. So do you want to? Yeah, all right, we got it. Well, uh, thank you uh, for that, and good morning again, everybody. Um, we want to do a shout out to our friends on Facebook. I do keep getting people who say, you know, I don't come on the service, but I listen on Facebook, and uh, we're grateful for that. And uh, I don't think uh, that uh, it's it's easy to forget that we get on here and that there's other people paying attention. So that's great. Um, and thank you so much. I, I I don't know if anybody else had a reading. But I, yeah, Jan has our words of assurance. Okay, Jan. Yep. We, we're ready, right? Yeah. Yep. This is um, from the poetry book that I've been asked to read from. Um, it is called The Space Between. It does not matter what you call it, whether you name her a he or a she, whether you imagine her with two legs or four legs, branches or wings, or even if you don't believe. It does not matter, it does not matter whether you enter stained glass buildings or kneel with forehead to dusty knees, whether you hold your hand out to receive a piece of bread or a drop of sky. It matters that every day, no matter how busy or how old, or how mad or sick, or deep in your bones tired or unworthy you feel, you stop long enough to listen to Dove say her early morning prayers, <laughs> that you rest inside the space, this space, between thought and breath, before the next, that you notice that with no help from you, sun still blazes, body still breathes. It matters that you listen until you see that you are not the storm that throws you violently to your knees, but the beloved bad ass ocean who holds and holds, who forever holds you and every last wildly inconceivable thing. All right, thank you, Jan. That's awesome. We would love it when you guys share stuff and that was so great. And mom, thanks for your sharing as well. Ironically, mom was gonna share uh, Psalm 100 with us today, but it's also our scripture. And uh, we did a little special recording earlier. So I'm gonna share screen and little, and little Dio and I, uh, did a little reading this morning, so let's see how it comes out. Hang on, I don't think I did it right. Oh yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah and nice and loud. This song is a adapted from song 100 ring the bells shake the maracas shout with glee jump for joy 
to honor the God of all creation. I admit I want to dance in the streets, twirl in the rain, bear myself to the sun, sing joyful songs of praise, give thanks with all my heart and soul to you, our wonderful God. Oh, how great thou art! We are your family. We are your children. You hold us and teach us and love us. Your care for us knows no bounds. We have ventured from lands of hunger over hills of sorrow and vast stretches of emptiness. We have made many wrong turns and though we have been lost, you have always been there. We come to you now with thanksgiving, for you are our fulfillment, our entirety. We take your hand to dance with you. We hear your music. We are safe with joy, for you love us. Your faithfulness abides. Amen. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so that was fun. Thank you, Dio, for that. It was great. And um, yeah, so let me just see, make sure we're all set here. Good. Well, good morning again. And uh, it has been quite a week. And so uh, I have to admit, when I uh, read this psalm, uh, it made me very happy. <laughs> it's a psalm that, that brings me joy. I love, the, I love the image and I love the words, you know, shout for joy, you know, come with gladness, you know, make joyful noise. These are all things that make me happy. It made me feel good to listen to that and to read that. And I read it several times and I've been mulling it over and I even got to the point where I liked it so much I was rewriting it and that's what we read today was a little bit of another version and these words these words of you know shout and come and make joyful noise they're sort of action words they're like verbs they're telling you know do something and 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 be part of something you know but there's also within that psalm there's also promises and the promises are really important to this because what they say is we are God's people. They say God is good. And they say God's love is forever. Psalm 100 is this great psalm that makes me both want to dance and shake all over the place. I got scolded for having the maracas too close to the, too, too close to the thing, but... Uh, you know, it's, and I get it, it makes it hard to hear, but it is, it's just fun. And I just, I think that's so important that fun is part of what we do. Churches are really struggling because I think there's these images of churches as being very sort of punitive and, and, and very staid in their ways and not really having a lot, but having, having joy is something that is so important. Uh, last night we had a really great celebration. It was a birthday party for uh, a couple my cousin and her husband and um, a lot of our relatives were around and a lot of friends and uh, you know before we knew it we were we were dancing and and just letting go I if, if I had my way I'd be mailing everybody a, a maracas and so that everyone would have their maracas ready for every service because why do I do it I do it because it's just joyful it just makes it fun and it, it also helps someone who's maybe not a musician to be part of the noise be part of the joyful noise and so i think that's uh just a, a really nice thing so what are the takeaways from this psalm 100 well there's a lot but i have a few and one is that joy and fun are part of our divine relationship it's an important part of it and we can't forget that it's that's i think a very cornerstone of this of this psalm the second is is that letting go the act of letting go is what releases us 
and it, it helps us to, um, our, I think it's our sense of folly or our sense of letting go that allows us to connect with the Spirit. And the third thing is that wholeness, when I say wholeness, completeness awaits us in the balance somewhere between suffering and joy. So wholeness awaits between the balance between suffering and joy. Reverend Armin Prue is, I think he's 93 now or 94 or something. He's, he's in his 90s. And, and he is a remarkable uh, uh, person for those of us that came from cathedral to faithways. He was a really important person because uh, he has a very interesting story. And we pro probably first met him in his later 80s. Um, and he was known, he was a priest. In fact, I think he might still be a priest. But he's also, he decided that he wanted to marry a nun. <laughs> and so the two of them kind of got out of the day-to-day -day priest business. And uh, he married a nun, and he became a UCC minister. And he, by the time that Cathedral and the Light got started, he uh, was a retired minister, and he really wasn't sure that he wanted anything to do with cathedral in the in the in the night or the light. But he, and he has a beyond being that he was also a leader in the, in the entire world's uh, meditative movement for Christianity. So he's one of these people that was very active in the the beginning of the what they call the meditative movement. So he had a lot of things going for him, including lots and lots of friends. And he did start to come to our services every Sunday. And he always participated. And he was, you know, one of these people that it was always great to see, just like you guys. But there was one thing about Armin, and that is that Armin did not dance. He didn't, it wasn't that he didn't like to dance. He did not dance. And he was very clear about that from the very beginning that he just did not dance. And so he'd see me shaking around with my maracas and Joseph playing some upbeat music and this and that. And, and Armin would stand, he'd be, he's all for it for other people, but for himself, not quite so. Uh, and what happened is that one day, and I don't know what happened, I don't know what inspired him. But his legs started shaking, and then it moved up a little bit to his hips, and the next thing his shoulders were moving, and the next thing he was bobbing, and then he, he looked at me, kind of caught me looking at him, and he kind of gave me a little smile. And I can, tell you that I can tell you this today, because this is something that he's told us very recently. That was a major, major thing for him. I can also tell you it was a major thing for me to see. It spoke so much about joy. It spoke so deeply about the Spirit. And it spoke so much of this man whose, whose career had been full of the ministry, full of loving people, full of all this stuff. And yet he had not been able to let himself go to dance until this one moment, I believe. And I think that's what he would say as well. As connected as he was, he still needed that artistic letting go and he got it, and he, and he felt it, and it felt different for him, and he really liked it, and he knew it was good. Joy and gladness are part of the divine experience. We know that our suffering and the cracks of our lives are where, uh, where we find what we call the thin spaces, and the thin places are those places that, that easily let the Spirit in. And so it's important that we are in touch with our feelings, our suffering. We're in touch with the suffering of others, that we get it, that we're, because that is a, a way to connect with the Spirit. It's a, it's a gateway for sure. It's super important. I have one question, which is how can we experience joy and gladness when in the midst of all the loss and suffering, all the uncertainty, the loneliness, the tiredness, the, the fear, the anxiety. How do we do it? How do we experience joy and gladness in these times? These are times when we need to cling to those promises, the promises of the psalm, the promises that um, 
that wholeness awaits, that God is there for us, that God is good, that God's love is forever. Cling to those, and that helps. We must submit to this shepherd. It says, it says in the psalm that God is the shepherd. And submitting to the shepherd in a way is letting go. It's exactly what Armin did when his leg began to shake, and then his knee began to shake, and then his hips began to shake. It was letting go. So much of that is important. Remembering we are God's people. Lately, um, in, in my world, I've been very aware of a lot of suffering, a lot of sickness. We've experienced a lot of loss, a lot of health issues, financial and job security issues, depression and loneliness issues. There's just a lot going on. It's a lot. I have a dear, dear, very close friend who has had suffering and loss upon suffering and loss upon suffering and loss, and it's unbelievable. If you've ever read uh, from the book of Job, uh, it, it just goes on and on about the suffering of Job, and I feel like, wow, this is sort of what's happening to this dear friend of mine and her family. Um, it doesn't seem fair and it doesn't seem balanced. Looking back, looking into it, it just seems so hard and so unfair and so unbalanced. And yet the other day I, I sat with that person and, and she had gotten a phone call and she was talking to a friend and somehow she just was able to laugh. And it was a real laugh, it was a belly laugh. And it didn't last long but there was some joy there. Through all the darkness, through all the devastating things going on, through all the uncertainty that's going on in this person's life, she was able to muster up this, this laugh, this feeling, this joyful sound that came out. Well, many of us would crumble, but yet, yet here she was steady and hopeful and very much alive through all of the difficulties and somehow I was able to find just a little bit of joy and laughter our spiritual journey the spiritual journey that we're on uh, sometimes they call it a sojourn our spiritual journey brings us together and the idea of the spiritual journey is to bring the two halves of the life together the day-to-day -day life the, the earthly life and the divine life to know that bringing these together and what we do in our journey or what we should be working on is seeking to bridge between the human world and the divine world, seeking to pull it together for our lives. Our spiritual journey is a, is a journey towards wholeness, to wholeness for our souls, and in that to be able to lift other people and help them get to wholeness as well. Wholeness is so important. We seek wholeness to make us feel complete and to be fulfilled. And you hear in the health world, they talk a lot about the holistic approach to health. The holistic approach is where they don't just treat your body, they don't just treat your mind, they treat it all together. Your body, mind, and spirit becomes one. And the wholeness, in order to be healthy, all these things need to be brought together. And the holistic approach is an approach that, un that identifies that and brings it together. A life of pure joy, a life of pure fun, is still only half fulfilling. You may see people and you say, oh God, they're just, all they just do is have fun all the time. But you know, that's either uh, superficial or it's only half full. It can't be complete that way. Nor can a life of pure suffering, nor can a life of pure suffering. We need the completeness. We need to bring the joy that God offers, the joy of having God in our lives. And we need to couple that with the promises that we are God's people. God is good. And God's love for us and for all people and for this entire creation is forever. Those are important things. A holistic experience, a holistic experience, uh, spiritual approach will help us bridge the way. And we can, neither one of these ideas can fulfill on its own. For Armand to dance, he had to let go. 
It took him many, many years to do this. He was an active Christian all his life, but it was the joyful letting go in which he finally found wholeness. I happen to know that this was a special moment for him, and I know that it was a special moment for me. And, and, and everybody that was around that watched him dance that day. And he danced a couple more times, but that was the real letting go was that day. Most of us remember times when our feet felt like they were nailed to the ground. We come into a situation, everybody else is dancing, and we just don't feel like it, or, or we're just not feeling it. And that's okay. There's that times when we didn't feel like clapping or the times we didn't feel like dancing, and that's okay. But remembering our joy is about giving grateful praise to the one who protects us, loves us, and promises us wholeness. Let us pray. Oh God, with joy in our hearts, with love, with maracas and tambourines and dancing feet, with guitars and drums, with our hearts beating, we give thanks and we joyfully partake in your world. Amen. Thank you, friends. And bless and bless you all. And with, with that, we need a song. <laughs> Oh yeah, all the way from Holyoke, Massachusetts, the Ho Faithways Ho Band. It's actually pronounced Ho-Yoke. Ho-Yoke. As in the Ho-Yoke of an egg without the L. And that's how a Ho-Yoke native explained it to me one time. So this is going to get loud. Excuse me. Was a bullfrog, was a good friend of mine. I never understood a single word. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I don't, I want to do this right. Technical issue. Now you know what's coming, it's not a surprise. But the, the bonus is you can sing along. Yeah, dance if you want to. Yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. He was a good friend of mine. I never understood a single word that he said. But he always had somebody by his heart. And he always had somebody by his heart. I sang in joy to the world. technical difficulties there <laughs> but we're good thanks you guys joy to the world amen uh so we have time for check-in we we're, we're, how are we doing time wise we're running uh pretty good we, um does anybody i have a pretty good prayer list started and um let's open it up anything uh that uh where you saw God this week, uh, where uh, anybody that needs prayers, anything that's happening. Brother John, you can lead us off, please. And then Randy. I uh, had the honor of having just a, a special, special experience yesterday. Um, 
the first friend I ever knew, uh, um, a guy named Shane Duran, um, came, I hadn't seen him in 15 years, 20 years, something like that. <clears throat> but we'd, uh, I just started past couple of months, we'd phone call, you know, maybe every couple of weeks or type, type thing. And, <clears throat> and I finally got the nerve to invite him down to my humble little home. And uh, we had a project to build a greenhouse <clears throat> um, and that did not get very far. Uh, that got embarrassingly not far, but we, uh, but we, we did it. And, but it, it was so, so special. Just uh, those people in our lives that uh, meant so much to us in the past. I, I was so hesitant to try to reach back out and start that thing again in case it got weird. And God dang it, it didn't get weird at all. It was just like we met yesterday or two days ago and we're getting back together. It was uh, such a remarkable experience. And lo and behold, uh, I gently broached the subject of faith and, and, uh, and he uh, expressed how important it was to him and, and his family. And, uh, uh, and so I'm hopeful that he is going to join us uh, next uh, next Sunday uh, for Faithways. He's very excited to to be a part of the group. So um, it was just a, a remarkable day. And uh, moral to the story: never too late to reach out to somebody that you think it's been too long. Never too late. So there you go. Thanks so much. All right, Randy, and then Dan. I forgot to mention earlier, I don't know if I saw if I saw God, heard God or something, but something told me to go outside out front of the facility where I'm at. And uh, when I did that, I found one of the residents, her name is Caroline. She tipped over in a wheelchair and got hurt and I, screamed and all this staff and everybody come running so i need prayers for her as well thank you randy yeah that's uh it's carolyn right yeah so we have brent and carolyn for sure thank you anybody else oh daniel i think you and then christina care let's see am i on yes. can you hear me yes okay I almost forgot to mention my minister at St. Paul's Church in Saginaw, Michigan. Uh, please send out prayers for her. Uh, last Tuesday, she had a total knee replacement at 86 years old. This morning, she's supposed to, next week rather, be back to do her first sermon. But like she says, she's in so much pain each day, she can't even talk to me, but for a few moments. This is the lady who paid for my trip to DC and is paying for my trip to meet with Bishop Barber's people a week from, two weeks from today. Anyhow, while I'm on it, I forgot earlier, I will be on the national broadcast of the National Action Network with Reverend Tolliver, uh, Al Sharpton, CEO. Uh, I'll get the date Wednesday and I'll text you which Tuesday I'll be on so you can let people know it's a national broadcast. Uh, thank you. I'll also be on the NAACP broadcast from Saginaw, Michigan, by uh, the 30th of next month. So like I said, we're getting the promotion we need and I'm gonna promote Faithways so people who don't get to service will know where to find. Thank you, Thank Daniel. You. Uh, and Dan, just uh, one last question. What is your minister's first name? Judy Bowley. No, yeah, okay. Reverend Judy Bowley, Saginaw, Michigan. Thank you. St. Paul's Church. And it's the poll. Thanks, Dan. I just, I did shut you off there, but anybody else? So we got, yes. Oh, Christina Kerr. Sorry. Yeah, hi. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Great to see everyone. Um, yeah, I had quite a week. This beginning of the week, um, we had a, a tree come down on our property. Um, it was quite a very large polar and it took down all of the, um, all the wires and all of the power and cable 
Um, but um, the good thing was is that they showed up within 25 minutes of the call. So um, they came, then they came on Monday, the following day, which was my birthday. And there were like five trucks here all over the property, but I had friends come in and we were able to <clears throat> get through all of the, the trucks and uh, uh, without the power, we all took off and we went out to Stockbridge and uh, we had a great day out there and went to the museum and dinner. And uh, so it worked out, it was a really nice beginning of the week. And uh, I too had a friend call um, from high school who I stopped talking with about 14 years ago. We had an impasse falling out and she called and we have been connecting um, for the last two weeks together, um, which is a miracle because, um, you know, we were close and now we're going to be getting together this summer up in Maine where she bought a house. So I'm quite excited about my re, um, my uh, new, new uh, friend, I guess, coming back into my life. So just wanted yeah. to report that. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. That's great uh, news. Uh, happy birthday to you. And uh, I'm glad they got that tree taken care of very quickly. And mom, you're, you're up. And so I don't need to talk so much, but I want us all to remember the joy of Rich coming home yesterday mm -hmm. and the family. Yeah. Yep. Cut, cousin Rich has came home and uh, he's, he's in our, he's on the list. He's on our prayer list along with, uh, uh, with others. Um, anybody, and Jan? Prayers for Phil. He starts treatment and protocol this coming up week and he just needs deep prayers. Yep, continued prayers. Thanks, thanks Jan. Continued prayers. Well, we're gonna go right into prayers and um, maybe just invite you guys. It's been a lot, take a deep breath. Breathe it in and breathe it out. And let us pray for Judy and Phil, for Mark, for Rich, Jill, Marshall, for Jillian, our beloved Jillian, for Brent, for the staff and residents that works with Randy, for all people who are ill, for Carrie, for Christina's brother, for Christina, for her, her upcoming surgery, for veterans, for all people with life issues, for Shana, for her upcoming surgery, for Alex, for Jim, for Brother John's greenhouse, for Carolyn and for wonderful friend connections for all of this so oh God we ask your help and we give thanks we trust in you and we know that there is no other way we need you now be with us and be with us all in Jesus name amen, amen. and friends this is uh, as you know one of my favorite times so I invite you all to unmute and uh, some, something tells me Joseph is whipping up his guitar. And uh, <laughs> let us pray the Lord's Prayer together as only you know it. Our Father, Our Father, Father who is in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but not us from evil, glory, 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 amen. 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 And Randy, if you wouldn't mind uh, leading us in the serenity prayer, and I'm going to mute everybody else. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We are so glad we don't miss that. And uh, so uh, we have a song. Any requests? Any, do we have, we're open for requests. If you raise your hand, if you have a request. 
You're five Ran uh, Randy, what do you got? I surrender all. Uh, what? I surrender all? Don't know it. But I will play a song for Randy that he, that Randy was the first person that said, do you know this song? And I, this is way back when Randy rolled up to me on the, on the Greenfield Green and said, do you now lift your name, little Lord, I lift your name on high? And it's become uh, my go-to song. <laughs> pretty fun to be in person with these guys uh, and uh, so a unique day and a wonderful day indeed well friends it's time for our communion and when we come to communion we come both we bring our brokenness and our needs and our the, the areas where we suffer but we also bring our joy and we should come to communion knowing that it's something to lift us knowing that it's something that brings us together in a very unique way it makes us one one in the spirit which we were singing or we were singing earlier and so Jesus knew that. And Jesus knew that the best way was to bring people together and to take the bread and bless it and to break the bread and to give it. And we talk about the need in the dark times, in the difficult times, in the lonely times, the times when we feel separated from God, the need to remember, to remember that God is there for you, that God loves you, that God's love for you and caring for you endures through all times. And so Jesus used the symbol of the blood of his body, which was in the juice or the, the wine, the body and the blood of Christ given for you.
In the spirit we are one. One is love, one is love. All there is is one love. And so love is my religion. Love, love is my religion. Oh, love, love, love is my religion. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. All you need is love. Amen. Put that one in the book book for using again. That's a great version of that. So uh, I just want to uh, talk about offering real quickly. And, and again, thank you, everyone. And um, Rob's here and he'll be doing our benediction. Um, but just so grateful for each of you, the gifts that you bring. Even if today you just sat, you, you sat and you didn't say anything, you still brought the gift of your presence. And it means a lot, whether you're in Tucson or the Pacific Northwest, or if you're uh, in Greenfield or Amherst or Florida or Vermont, or right here in Holyoke, Massachusetts, it's important that you're here and God bless you and we're, we're grateful to have you and lucky, it's a gift. Um, and speaking of gifts, <laughs> so we don't do a financial offering on Sundays, um, but we were, uh, as Karen brought up today, we were given a very nice gift from uh, somebody who recognized the importance of this type of ministry. We actually got some money also from somebody that I don't even know uh, we will send her a thank you note, but it was um, somebody who just liked our message and um, liked uh, our inclusiveness and thought that was really important. Um, and so we do have that, but the goal is not to save that money. The goal is for us to give it away. And our charge, my, char our, my charge to you or my, my hope for all of us is that we find uh, people that can benefit from this who are in have any needs, crisis needs in particular, that we can help them with. We can help uh, really uh, a lot of people if we, if we pull ourselves together. But we need your help. So keep your ears and eyes open for those in need. And we, we you know, bring it without fear of uh, any judgment or things of that nature. Um, and so that is our offering. And let us pray. Oh, God. We as faith ways, we love to give. We want to give. We want to give in Jesus' name. We want to give of ourselves. We want to give of our time. We want to give of our spirit and our soul. We want to give of our healing. We want to give of our money. And we want to do all of this boldly. Because we trust in you. And we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless. And uh, we have a benediction, and then we'll have one last, and then we'll have a final song. And Rob, I turn it over to you. Thank you, kind sir. I just uh, want to lift up everyone that has, I'm just lift everyone up. You're, you're all awesome. I, I love being here. This is uh, from John O'Donohue from To Bless the Space Between Us. On the day when the weight deadens on your shoulders and you stumble, may the clay dance to balance you. And when your eyes freeze behind the gray window and the ghost of loss gets into you, may a flock of colors, indigo, red, green, and azure blue, come to awaken you in you a meadow of delight. When the canvas frays and the crock of thought and a stain of ocean blacken beneath you, may there come across the waters a path of yellow moonlight to bring you safely home. May the nourishment of the earth be yours. May the clarity of light be yours. May the fluency of the ocean be yours. May the protection of the ancestors be yours. And so may a slow wind work these words of love around you, an invisible cloak to mind your life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's a beautiful, yeah, John O'Donohue is a uh, Celtic. Uh, he, he centers around Celtic uh, 
Christianity, which is very interesting. So, um, and we do, we do we have another song? Yeah, we have a goodbye song. We have a goodbye song. <laughs> All right, if you want to dance, feel free. Lay down, my dear brother. Lay down and take your rest. Lay your head upon the Savior's breast. You know I love you so, but Jesus loves you best. And I bid you good night, good night, good night. And I bid you good night, good night. Well, lay down, my dear sisters, lay down and take your rest. Lay your head upon the Savior's breast. You know we love you so, but Jesus loves you best. And we bid you good night, good night, good night. And we bid you good night, good night. But Jesus loves us best, and I bid you good night, good night, good night, and I bid you good night, good night, good night, and we bid you good night, good night, good night, and amen. All right, everyone is welcome to uh, unmute, and thank you all for being here. Blessings go forth. And uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks so thanks. much to our Faithways band and to Daniel for your song this morning. It's so great to have all the music along with the, the worship. It just adds so much. Um, and I thanks, think everybody, that, for being for here. Blood. I think this week's music it goes into our uh, Faithways Hall of Fame. Uh, <laughs> one of the <laughs> finest the weeks of music ever. Yeah, um, thank you. And Rob, I love what you ha wrote or, or uh, uh, shared and, and uh, just a really beautiful, beautiful piece. Man, that's strong stuff. Hi, John. Hey, bud. I hope you all have a great week. When I go for my surgery, which will help me a lot. Christina, when, when, when do you actually go in? Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday. Morning. Thursday morning. Very oh, exciting. Beautiful. Cannot wait. That. Very that's, nice. That's beautiful, Jan. Yeah. Yeah, Christina, we'll be keeping you in prayer. Absolutely. Oh, look at beautiful. that. Gorgeous. Yeah. Very oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. I'll see you all next week. Okay. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Christina. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, everybody. God see bless. Love. 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 Faithways band, you're awesome. <laughs> hey, Lance. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture of the administrator's card and send it to you for the donation stuff. Oh, great. Because, okay, thank you. Yeah, because you want I said I don't know the information. I, she said just give them my information. Have them contact me. Okay, <laughs> great. All right. Thank you, Manny. Um, Thanks for our right. serenity prayer. All right. God bless bye -bye. everybody. All right. Bye, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs>